Hello and welcome to part 5 in the Modafinil and Armodafinil safety series. And in this video, we're going to look at the difference between Modafinil versus Armodafinil, or if you're used to the brand names, ProVigil versus NuVigil. And to do this, we're going to have to start looking at some of the science and some of the chemistry behind this. And if you know me, you know that chemistry is not my strong point. So I thought, who better to explain some of this than Walter White from Breaking Bad? So take it away, Walter. So the term chiral derives from the Greek word hand. Now the concept here being that just as your left hand and your right hand are mere images of one another, right? Identical and yet opposite. Well, so too organic compounds can exist as mere image forms of one another all the way down at the molecular level. But although they may look the same, they don't always behave the same. Thanks, Walton. This is especially true of modafinil and armodafinil. Modafinil and armodafinil are considered to be a left isomer and a right isomer of the same molecule. Um, like the left hand and the right hand, they, they look the same, but they don't always behave the same. So let's break that down into two parts and let's look at how they look the same. Because if you were to go somewhere like Wikipedia or a chemistry textbook and you were to look at what does modafinil look like or what does armodafinil look like, at first glance, they don't look very similar at all. But if we're to look at it a bit more closely, and like this is modafinil on the left, as modafinil is, and what I've done is I've flipped, just in Photoshop, I've flipped the modafinil chemical over um, horizontally, and it's in orange there in the middle. And if we just move that over to the right, and then sort of rotate it a little bit, you'll notice that just like your left hand and your right hand, um, if we were to put, print those out on bits of paper and put them together, they pretty much overlap exactly as they should. But for the, uh, the people who are paying extra attention, you'll notice that you've got H2N on the modafinil one at the end of that joint, and on the armodafinil one it's NH2. And like I said, I'm not a genius when it comes to chemistry, but I think that's because the binding happens on the nitrogen in, as opposed to the hydrogen. Don't, don't quote me on that. So when it comes to modafinil and armodafinil, they're actually the same, they're based on the same chemical, the same molecule. And modafinil was discovered first, and modafinil is the left isomer of this chemical, and armodafinil is the right isomer. In fact, it was originally called R-modafinil, meaning literally the right modafinil. Um, and then later that got shortened down to armodafinil, AR-modafinil, as you can see on the screen right now. So that's similarities in terms of how they look, but what about similarities in terms of behavior? Modafinil and armodafinil both have a half-life of 12 to 15 hours. That means it takes 12 to 15 hours for half of that medicine to be out of the system. The primary benefit of both of these medicines is wakefulness. They're both prescribed for the same conditions, things like narcolepsy, sleep apnea, idiopathic hypersomnia, shift work, sleep disorder, etc., etc. Neither of them are considered to be addictive, and both of them are taken orally in tablet form. But there's a difference in how they behave when you take them. Generally speaking, modafinil is considered to be less pure, which means that the 200 milligram modafinil is equivalent chemically to just 100 milligrams of armodafinil. And what that means is, say you need the wakefulness that you get from 100 milligrams of armodafinil, you're taking less substance into your body, so there's less chance of side effects. Whereas with modafinil, you have to take more in order to get the same wakefulness effects, which makes it quite likely that the side effects will be different. You will also find that modafinil's wakefulness is less consistent and will decline faster despite the similar half-life. And I'm quoting here from an abstract that you can view for yourself on PubMed if you want. And what they did is they measured throughout the day the levels of armodafinil and modafinil that were active in the body and they found that armodafinil was measured at 40% greater levels in the afternoon than modafinil. So if you're looking for long-lasting wakefulness, then armodafinil is probably the medicine for you. So that's based on the literature, but what about anecdotally? What are the differences that people talk about on internet forums and things? Most people agree that both of them provide really good wakefulness. Um, armodafinil is generally considered to provide cleaner wakefulness 
that lasts longer. But a lot of people love modafinil because it creates like a lot of creative thinking for them. Like if they need to do some problem solving, if they're staying up late at night, trying to really like bust through a college assignment, then they'll often favor modafinil. Whereas the effect on the thinking from our modafinil, once again anecdotally, is more like sort of getting things done. And the way I think about this is like, you know if you've got some part of your job that's just like a real slog to get through, like if you're researching at uni that might be writing up your reference lists or if you're like needing to clean the house that's like getting around with the mop and things, it's just sort of repetitive and you've got to grind through it. Armour Daffodil is wonderful for that. But if you're doing something where you need to stay up late and you need to be creative or you need to be on the ball, then modafinil anecdotally is much, much better for that. Now this may seem paradoxical, but modafinil's greater chance of side effects can actually be a desirable effect um, because some of the side effects are things like appetite reduction. So if you're wanting to lose a bit of weight, like modafinil could be a better choice because you don't just get the wakefulness, you can also get an effect on how much you want to eat. And very importantly, modafinil is generally less expensive. And that's just because it's been around longer, there's more places that make it, there's more competition. So, <laughs> you're probably watching this video wanting me to tell you that one is better than the other, but it really depends on you. It depends on the dosage you require. Like, as a rule of thumb, if you're one of those people using this as a nootropic, you're looking to use, like, 50 or 75 milligrams of modafinil, you're, like, perfectly healthy, everything's fine, you just want an edge to your thinking, then I'd probably suggest you start out trying modafinil. Whereas if you're someone listening to this and you've got a severe sleep disorder or you've got a like newborn kid, you're working two jobs, you need to stay up for 20 hours at a time, then I'd probably be jumping straight to armadafinil. That said, everybody's different. It can vary based on your body. And the only way to know for sure is to try them both and find out what works best for you. So that concludes part five of the modafinil and armadafinil safety series. What I would love like, if you've tried modafinil and you've tried armadafinil, I would love for you to leave a comment below this video right now and tell me which is it that you prefer and why. And that's going to serve as a really cool resource for people listening to this trying to work out which one is right for them. If you haven't already and you're thinking about taking modafinil or armadafinil, make sure you grab the safety guide. It's completely free. It's a PDF. You don't even need to give your email address. I mean, it's just free information that I've uncovered from all of my research into these medicines. In the description of this video on YouTube, you will find the link to go and grab yourself a copy of that. So do that today and make sure you hang around for part six in this video series. Thanks a lot. See you next time.